In the last hour, the man accused of saying bomb on a plane, forcing the flight to be diverted to JAX, was in federal court. The incident happened Tuesday night during an argument between the man and his ex. They, they, were, on, they were on a Breeze Airways flight from Orlando to Providence, Rhode Island. Today's appearance comes a little more than 24 hours after Evan Sims appeared in front of a judge in state court yesterday. It was there he claimed he did not say bomb. He said calm. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us now live from the federal courthouse with the latest on the case. Marilyn. Yes, and if you remember, he had quite a bit to say over in state court. Well, it was when folks started leaving federal court today that Sims actually looked over to the sketch artist and said, hey, how'd the sketch come out? Sketch artist held it up just like this and showed it to him. And he said, hmm, not bad. After that, he was instructed by attorneys to stay quiet. But one of the main things that we did learn today is that he has an out of county warrant or a warrant out of Rhode Island for failure to appear. Now, the United States attorney said it was her understanding that if he were to be released from here today, that he would be extradited back there. So he's going to stay locked up here a bit longer. Here's a closer look at those sketches for you. He came into court a few minutes before four o'clock to talk things over with his attorneys. I heard his attorney ask him, how are you doing? and Sims kind of tilted his head and shrugged a little bit. The judge went through his background and where that's where we learned he was treated for ADHD when he was 12 or 13 years old. The judge asked him if he had a clear understanding of everything that was going on and why he was here today. His answer, unfortunately, yes, sir. So let's take you back to how all of this started. Here's video from on board that Breeze Airways plane on December 5th. You can only imagine what it was like for those passengers and many of them pulled out their cell phones and started recording. Sims even apologized to them for all of this. The special agent with the FBI says it started with an argument between Sims and his wife while on the plane and Sims is heard saying he's going to fire up a vape. Then he hoped the plane wouldn't go down and even stood up in his seat when the plane took off and said he wanted to get off the plane. Now, once it was safe for people to start changing seats, the report says twice Sims said his ex had a bomb on the plane. The flight crew and other passengers heard him, according to that report. And in court yesterday, he told the judge he did not say bomb. Take a listen. Anytime you say bomb at the airport, you go to jail. Who said bomb? Uh, sir, I said calm and somebody thought I said bomb. And that was <laughs> a very bad... Uh, um, it was yes. I did not say bomb on the airplane. See, so I spoke, see, with, no, no see, I spoke see. with the federal agents yesterday for about an hour, as well as uh, an air marshal. Why did you say calm? Why did I say calm? I said because she needed some calm and she wanted to move seats. So what's next? Well, there will be a hearing on Tuesday at one o'clock and get this. The penalty for this crime is up to five years in prison in a two hundred fifty thousand dollar fine. We're live at the federal courthouse in downtown Jacksonville, Maryland Parker Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Maryland.